a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing. Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. I witnessed the founding of Liyue together with the Adepti 3,700 years ago. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come, until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. Indeed I was. The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lila back under control? Of course, and it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liyu matured when faced with the death of its deity. I was pleasantly surprised with the finale of the show that you all put on. Why, you even deserved an encore. The Adepti deserve the greatest applause, considering their years of seclusion. They hardly recognized the city, yet faced with such a crisis, they exerted the greatest amount of restraint. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end, they even tried to understand the heart of the people. And hats off to the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract, Signora. She managed to keep everything she knew in strict confidence, far from the eavesdropping ears of her colleague child, just as I had requested. All the while, I carried on as Zhang Li, and fulfilled the traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for walking that path with me, Traveler. These things were all a part of my script. The only unforeseen plot twist was the conduct of the Liu Chising. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu's divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Ha! <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between...